on to the player state, uh, just just before I go to the player state, actually, I just want to clarify that when I was talking about the player controller and, and with, with the diagram, player controller and the player state as well, they're both created on the server and replicated to the client. With the player controller, it's replicated to the owning client only, and then with the player state, it's replicated to all clients. But I think it's important to understand that they're created on the server. So What's the player state for? The player state's for sharing information about a specific player and their particular data. So their name, uh, their, their personal score, their ping, their team sort of thing. That's the common ones that you'll see. And the reason why it's replicated everywhere is so everyone has access to that. So when you, know, when you see another player in a game and you, you know it's got their name above their head, then it's grabbing that from the local player state to display that. The player state has another built-in feature which we, we may get to setting up at some point the, uh, when a player disconnects from a game, it can persist some data across. So you can, uh, it has a built-in feature called copy properties where you can restore the uh, player back into the game if they reconnect. So that's, but other than that, the player state is pretty basic. You sort of just want to think of it as store data that's relevant to any particular player. So we're going to crack st straight into creating our player state base class. So again, I'm going to go to the player folder, a class, player state, should find the player state in here. And it's the same constructor as what we've been doing. And that's all we really need for now. I think we'll first come across the player state when we go to implement teams and we implement the teams interface. I'm going to create a class down in the project as well. And we'll fire up the editor. So on the editor, once again, I don't think we need a blueprint class, at least definitely not at this stage. And then uh, we'll, so we'll just set it to our play state class, to our project play state. Quick and simple video this one, but I thought it was worth covering the play state and what it actually is. In the next video, we're going to start getting into more of the meat of things. So we're going to start with the game data and game phase system that we're going to be setting up. So that concludes section one. Thanks for watching so far and see you in section two.